Say good luck. <laughs> safe, safe drive to Kishna. <laughs> Scared of the slums, afraid of the guns. This is our sixth day in Moldova. We're driving from Gloden to Kishnau and we'll stay in Kishnau for five nights. So this is probably a Soviet border sign. It's for Dumbrovica in uh, Sinjare district. Soviet bus stop, mosaic up. That's what they're for. Two and a half hours, we made it. Kishinev. Arrived Kishinev. I'm just gonna stop at a few places on the way to the, the flat. This is the Technical University of Moldova behind me. Socialist modernism. Moscow Street. COVID vaccine bus. This is Afghan Park. It was completed in 2007 to commemorate the Moldovan uh, SSR soldiers lost in Afghanistan. The date on top says 1979 to 1989. This is the uh, Tashkent apartment building, a gift from Moldova SSR, from Uzbek SSR, after a 1977 earthquake. It was completed in 1977. Tokenitze de Pork and Mamaliga. Moldova classic. But what's this? Look at this Soviet mosaic, it's on the Termocom building. Uh, they completed it in 1988, it's called uh, Taming the Fire. Look at these colorful, worn down block houses. It's my FJ's Moldovian brother. Is it Moldovan brother or Moldovian? Moldovan. Here's what $30 a night gets you in Kishino. View out the window here. It's our view of Hotel Kishino. And there is a Soviet monument, the Liberation Monument, completed in 1969. We'll take a closer look at that later. Today, unlike any other day, is very special. You know why? Day. Woman's Day. So, to celebrate Woman's Day, we're just gonna uh, drink, right? Yeah. Eat chocolate, smell flowers, yeah. and uh, look at derelict uh, 1970s uh, Soviet buildings. The world famous National Hotel. You can't book there anymore. It's been empty for a while to be the fountain in front of National Hotel. Here's the former uh, Moldova Tour building, and it also housed a National Hotel restaurant, looks like. So this is United Nations Square. It used to be called Liberation Square. And that monument behind me, that's the one I was looking at from our apartment yesterday. It's the Liberation Monument. In 1940, Russia annexed this region, uh, liberating it from the Romanians and forming Moldova SSR. Um, subsequently, it was liberated by the Nazis from the Russians. And then in 1944, the Russians liberated it again from the Nazis. And this monument is Liberation Monument. Locals also call it the Titanic. So Hotel Kishinev, Stalinist Empire style, they encourage you to book with the tagline, 
It's like visiting your grandma. It's not modern, but it's clean, warm, and relaxing. This is the Exhibition Hall of Artists Union building. Uh, it's named after a famous Romanian-born sculptor and painter named... Constantin Brâncuș. You heard it here first. So you cross the street, underpass. Throughout the exhibition hall exterior are these uh, almost Art Deco-ish style wall-mounted sculptures. Nice, uh, nice stairs to the underpass here. Telecom building. Here's a small Soviet mosaic on the Mold Telecom building. Transportation scene. All right, getting you drunk for Woman's Day for breakfast? Let's do it. What a beautiful men's room, very practical. <laughs> the ever popular Central Market. Ooh, look, I see something for Women's Day. No. You don't want anything? No. Oh. That is a very modern looking uh, bus station. Clearly this bus station has been renovated, but had the foresight to preserve this Soviet era mosaic behind me. It's called The City is Flourishing and is Being Built. Da, da, da. Next to the Palace of da, da. Building from 1901. Ah, look at you, look what you caught. Congratulations. We just went from sunshine to a snowstorm in about 10 minutes. Here are uh, ruins of a synagogue. I think this building is a school. Uh, the address is 54 Pushkin Street. Pushkin after the uh, Russian poet. That's the Soviet star. This is the monument to the victims of the Jewish ghetto. They put it up in 1993. This spot is where the gates to the ghetto were located. It was surrounded by a wooden fence and uh, Jews couldn't come in and out. Some 11,000 were put here. Many starved to death. A lot were relocated to camps in Transylvania and elsewhere. That's Moses up there in front. The inscription says, Martyrs and victims of the ghetto, we the living remember you. This is the monument to the heroes of the Leninist Komsomol. Komsomol was uh, some kind of youth group, young heroes, uh, communist thing. This Soviet artwork on the side of Hotel Tourist is called Moldova. There's the Kishinev Circus there on the right. You see the emblem of Moldova, the bull thing. That might be Soroka Fortress over there on the left. National Bank of Moldova. I think this might be some tax building. Monument to the smallest minted currency in Moldova. The one bond is worth like, I think it's worth less than half a penny.
Happy Woman's Day. This is a triumphal arch built in 1840 to commemorate the Russo-Turkish War. And through the arch is the government house of the Republic of Moldova. Moldova's main man, Stefan Jalmade. National History Museum of Moldova. National Library of Moldova. Likoric Theater. Likoric is a uh, lightning bug in Romania. Libraria din Ho. Romanian Embassy flying the Ukraine flag. Looks like a Soviet monument. It was restored in 1998, but there's no plaque here saying what it is. It's near the Romanian Embassy. The House of Press. Yorgi Yasaki, Romanian French High School. Used to be, I think, secondary school number one. National Palace. Right, for some reason it Seems like Jewish architecture to me. Now this one looks Jewish to me as well. Can't put my finger on why. This one too. That looks socialist. So happy one? Where are we going? Chocolate store. We're going to a chocolate store called Bukaria. It means happiness. No self-respecting Romanian visits Kishinu or Moldova without buying chocolate from here. Oh, how could it be closed on International Women's Day? It's closed? I can't pronounce anything Romanian correctly. Like the city Chisinau. How do you say it? Chisinau. Say it again. Chisinau. Again, again, again. Chisinau, 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 Chisinau. Yeah, Chisinau. Right? Chisinau. Yeah. Let's see if happiness is open today. There's some tasty chocolate bars here. Dried lamb carpaccio. <laughs> Forte delicios. Now we're just going to walk around Kishino until the sun goes down and uh, stop at everything we see that looks Soviet. Again, like yesterday.
Moldova National Opera Ballet. It's a nice, nice panel art on the facade here. We got Bianca for scale. Socialist modernist, uh, built 1980. This is the presidency of the Republic of Moldova. It was originally built for the uh, Supreme Council of the Moldovan SSR in 1987. It's one of the last Soviet structures to have been built in Kishinev. This is the parliament of the Republic of Moldova. It was built in 1976 as the headquarters of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Moldova. the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industry. This is the publishing house. Great facade on the fashion center. On the side of the House of Writers is this uh, Soviet mosaic. It's called Wind Waves. Clinical Hospital for Children, number one. Behind the hospital is this bureau. I don't know, is it Soviet? There's a very long man. His legs are being tied down by Popeye and Minnie Mouse and Garfield the cat. This is a nice uh, Soviet era government garage. This was the House of Political Education back in Soviet days. Friendship Hall, now the Palace of the Republic. Soviet, modern, 1984. We're in Stefan Chalmare Park, and this is the abandoned Guguza Cafe. You can see the letters up there. Cafenea Guguza. I've never seen Drunken Cherry outside of Ukraine. So uh, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be available. Let's pick up a couple of bottles. Straight from Ukraine. This used to be a working fountain and uh, they call this one the stone flower. Here's the consulate building for the Republic of Cyprus. Now you know what a Moldovan haircut looks like. Bean paste. Something funny I noticed in Moldova, kind of unique. You order a bunch of shit and they just bring it out when it's done. In this case, uh, they brought out the dessert before the main meal. It's perfectly normal here. So what is this? This is Muli Moldovene. It's basically a crepe filled with sweet uh, cottage cheese and raisins. It's delicious. Prove it. 
when was Putin's birthday? When was he born? He was born in October 7, uh, 1952. Okay, so when he turned 50, it was 2002. Um, we're heading to where Putin celebrated his 50th birthday. It's Krikova Winery. Um, he celebrated here in Moldova. This was after the breakup of the Soviet Union, uh, after the independence of Moldova. Um, it's a winery that has the uh, second largest cellar in Moldova. It's got 120 kilometers, 75 miles of underground road, half of which are used to store its wine. They call it the underground city. So that's today. That's Soviet. Vineyards on either side. It almost looks like the Soviet star. Now the entrances into the uh, limestone tunnels. So these tunnels have been dug out since the uh, 1300s um, for limestone mining. We're 100 meters deep right now, heading to see where they manually turn the bottles. So, welcome to Champagne Paradise. There is a, a pause. This, uh, they angle 45 degrees. At the very beginning, one high level lady, a day can turn at least 30,000 bottles. Why only ladies? Yeah. See the limestone. The tradition started of ladies turning these bottles, only ladies, because it was dangerous. The pressure could cause these bottles to explode. So uh, I think I got that right. Let the ladies do it. This is where they're freezing the bottle back. And then removing the impurities. Ah, remove. and why cage the fun of step the eye control to see the purity of the wine with the traditional method uh 5.5 up to six percent uh, bars is it temptation is it savor There's around a million bottles of wine here. Wall of Fame. Here's all of the uh, importante people who came to Krikova. Erdogan. Putin. Zelensky. Klaus Johannes. Jill Biden. John Kerry. You can rent out this wine storage. It's uh, two euros per bottle per year. 1902 Jerusalem. This used to be called Yuri Gargan's room. Because why? He visited our place in 1966 and it happened a funny history with him. He got lost and spent two days. October 8 was invited and was directed to the exit October 9. So he got drunk? He was happy. <laughs> he was happy. <laughs> How many kilometers of tunnels are being used currently for the wine storage? For the wine, we use almost 80 kilometers. 80 kilometers out of the 120 you see here, used for wine. Also, people are very religious in each of the limestone. So limestone is the sediment of... So this is where Putin had his 50th birthday party a few years back. The table only holds 60 people. Nice place for coffee. So Krikova's number one customer was Russia. 
And then in 2004, when Moldova started making moves toward EU, uh, Russia placed embargoes on uh, Moldovan wine. And so now, Romania is Kirkova's number one customer. We're entering the city. Monument to the Victims of Fascism, 1982. Uh, commemorates 14,000 Bessarabians who were executed right here on the spot in 1941 by the fascists. We'll have Georgian food for breakfast today. There you go. Thank you. Prepare the cacciapoli, my little guy. I thought all of the Lenin statues had been taken down in Kishino, and I just saw on Google Maps something labeled when I searched for it, Lenin Monument. So heading down there to see what that is. It's probably going to be a statue of Lenin. It's the chocolate factory. This is a registration area for refugees from Ukraine. Here it is. The last public monument of Lenin. Beloga, side profile. Yeah, you have Lenin's chin. He has my chin. Next to Lenin is uh, Georgi Dimitrov. It's the first communist leader of Bulgaria. And then you have uh, wild Karl Marx over here. <laughs> what grace! The wall behind Lenin, hammer and sickle. Right in the wall of the main pavilion next to the Lenin statue. This is the National Museum of Ethnography and Natural History, pseudo Moorish style. That round tower in the distance is called Romanitsa. It's a chamomile. Locals call it Daisy. It was the tallest building at the time when it was built in the late 70s, early 80s. It's a socialist experiment in community living. Here's a nice mosaic. This is the uh, Alexei Sturcha School of Arts. Perhaps one of the nicest mosaics we've seen here in Kishino. We were driving home and uh, saw this on the side of the building. Fist, building the Red Star. It's a creative enclosed porch. Yeah. What did you find? Placard from the Soviet Times. Yeah, it's a Soviet era placard. I think it says keep this area nice and clean and tidy. Oh, here's a third one. Same same message? Yeah. Proof that I was once under a Soviet era placard. And a fourth. Caviar, 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 caviar. This is the Palace of the Railway Worker, if I remember correctly. I'll capture it correctly. Cosmos Hotel. Ukrainian caviar. Where's your other caviar? And this one is from Russia. Kishino, day five. It's a, it's a nice springy, minus five Celsius, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to take a drive in the world's largest wine cellar? 200 kilometers, 120 miles of wine cellar, largest in the world, Leshti Meach. Thank you.
Heading for coffee on the corner of Bucharest Street and Pushkin Street. Romania and Russia, great way to sum up Moldova. We've been going to Tucano a lot in Romania. I didn't realize it was actually a Moldovan company. Ooh, famous Russian uh, Steven Seagal ate here. Chinta with potatoes and chicken soup, but it's, uh, it's not like the chicken soup you get back in America. And again, I can't help but to order the tokenitsa. This is with a uh, baby pig. It's one of my favorite Moldovan meals. the Eternity Complex. It's a World War II monument built in 1975. It honors the Soviet soldiers who died fighting the Romanians and the Germans during World War II. I make it look easy. <laughs> One quick trick to know if the artwork you're looking at is Soviet or not is find the woman. If she's got uh, pronounced nipples, you're looking at something produced by the USSR. <laughs> Here comes the army. Liberation Monument again. We see it about five times a day. And here's the Kishino train station. Look at that. It's like where they're going. There's a train to Moscow, a train to Bucharest, a train to Moscow, a train to St. Petersburg, a train to Moscow. So I'm not sure you can take a train to Moscow from Kishino without going through the thick of Ukraine. That must have been a very, very long train ride. Um, those trains are canceled for now. They're, they're, they're on hold temporarily. All right, still at the train station and there's a mosaic here behind this cafe. Probably more mosaic behind the cafe. This is called Hospitable Moldova. Train to Moscow, not moving for a while. I think this is the final monument, the final stop in Kishino before we head out to the next city. It's called Monument to the Victims of the Deportation of the Communist Regime. They built it in 2014 and uh, it's in honor of all the people, Moldovans, thousands of them, displaced from their homes during the Stalin era. Okay, so that's it for Kishino. Um, leaving the city, actually driving about 15 minutes south and turning around and heading back north again just to catch a view of the Soviet modernist uh, city gates, completed 1980. And that'll be the last Soviet structure we see in this city. And then we're heading off to the next spot, the world's smallest autonomy, called Gagauzia. <laughs>